Onivia League of Legends highlights. With this short range of composition from Vitality, there is a fairly high chance he's going to have some of these big ultimates. Definitely. And a lot of other tools to start it up, right? Diana doesn't have to be the initial piece of CC. Item. And yes, after that single item, your gold income decreases. But do you need more than a land Leandries and a support item on support rubble to be impactful? Probably not. Humanoid, though, locked up, flash the charm, and the first blood. But Razork, there to punish. And VTO, there should just be no way out of this one. His flash already down. A TP returning to mid lane. VTO, moving. a bit of extra movement speed might come in handy. Razork wants to keep it going. The charm does connect. Photon can slow Razork down. Looks like he doesn't have quite have the cooldown. BTO should Three, be dead. Extra bit of two, movement speed. One. Ball breaker. Hits him. Oh, it's a one, two, three. Diana and Vi working together. It's a beautiful thing. Now, though, Vitality. Could just be an easy Drake. Wave is crashing, but with Humanoid resetting, they still have a man advantage here. Photon and Oscars continue to trade bows. Bow back over the wall is nice. Razork waiting right there, and that's the ulti comp. But now Oscar wants a bit more. Gets the flash for the ghost. All these straights, super positive. Q3, Photon needs to sidestep. Where is he going to go? Oscar, you hit the Q3, you get the kill. The pullback's there. It's all his. He needs to set up the auto to finish. This is why you don't give this man Cassante. Oscar, too damn clean with it. But Hilly now flashing in, looking to burn him alive. Jun taking on the Ignite. The arrow just hits the edge of the hitbox. Exhaust now down from Karzi. Vitaly trying to take control of the lane, but in the meantime, Razork's already taking the grubs. Daglas is here to maybe deny a couple of waves. By yourself, Daglas does need to back away. Humanoid is on the roam, and uh, Daglas taking a lot of damage. He's, he's about to he's die. Dead. BTO goes in, but Noah's already got the kill. That's just too many spears. The Ren now comes through the flashback onto safety, but they managed to get one. Karzi retreating out. Noah down, traded for Daglas. BTO using his ult, committing fully to the play. Already, Humanoid's ult went down in the meantime. And just a wild exchange. Both on the top lane, the solo kill coming through. Nice team play to get the triple grubs as well as that kill. But on the bottom side of the map, it's a bit messy. So there was a lot of trading back and forth there. So Dragon for Void Grubs, sure. traditional. We all see that all the time. The interesting part was we already talked about Oscar and had that wave freeze up in the top side. Because Daglas didn't show himself on top side to help Photon push in, Oscar was able to freeze. Saying. But who? Humanoid. Humanoid. Now going to be in trouble. Moon Silver Blade not going to save him. Hillsang, though. The ulti. Oh. Karzi. Just barely able to connect on that one. Crucial that he's the one to grab the kill here. Get a bit more gold for him. As Nolan Jun cleared out mid lane, and now we're going to head back to the bottom side, but they're going to be a little bit late to catch this wave. Yeah, not great, but uh, Vitality, at least on the bottom side, doing a good job of unlocking Hillisang to help and make sure that the, you aren't able to push as far forward as Razor. Really? Maybe trying to bait there. Pushed aside by the arrow. Hillisang locked up. He does manage to get the ult down, but there's no immediate follow-up. Razork is all on his lonesome out, but it's a completely split fight. Hillisang lives for far too long. The rest of Vitality debating, can they walk in here? But Humanoid has ultimate. He's moving in onto Karzi. The pullback is there. Diana finds one, two kills. Don't need it now to know. Vito needs to get something back, but he's out of dashes. Daglas is on the other side of the wall. That's another kill coming through. Humanoid now trying to retreat, flashing out to safety, but it's not safety. It's just the river. He doesn't have the damage. It's a bloodbath on the bottom side and a triple for VTO. Great collapse from Vitality, and you call it out at the start. Hillisang's trying to push forward, knowing that he has Daglas in the back pocket, but you end up with a split call from Fnatic. Jun and Hillisang now out on the map. It looks like a fight's gonna happen around this mid lane as both teams are aware. Void Grubs and Dragon up in the bit. Arrow, Charm, doesn't connect. Crucially, the Charm interrupting the Vault Breaker. The arrow not landing means Vitality get the punish. They do spend the TP from Photon, I think expecting a bit more to happen there. But just a positive play overall. Again, Yo. 60. Getting support from the rest of his team as everyone descends into mid lane. He's also been free to, to move around the map. Part of the reason why he has, you know, he's six out of eight, 75% on KP in the game. Four out of five members in the area. Humanoid, I think, did get back in time to get that first item. Flash about to come up. Moonfall there, the ultimate. A lot of members grouping. Jun on the way in. Good initial damage, but the Herald already down. Jun flashing over, trying to stay safe. No isolated off to the side by Photon. No one now flashing forward. Fates calling Jun into the back line, but Fnatic don't have the damage. They have severely overestimated their outputs. Triple kill for Karzi. Vitality make it look effortless. They end up getting immediately on towards Noah, who is going to be your main source of damage right now since you don't have anything in the tank. Completed. It is the Lich Bane, as you called out. So might hurt a bit more. Struggle in that fight, obviously, is that even without MR for Daglas, just the innate sustain from a Volibear with a Sunder Sky meant Humanoid could barely really get through that health bar. 
As he farms up, the Diana gets more and more lethal. This is a champion who does a disgusting amount of damage on two or three items. The ulti very, very strong against a lot of immobile champions like the Rumble or the Varus. But that is a long way off right now. So Vitality, use the Herald mid. Start to extend their gold lead a little bit. Daglas, he's a big drift enthusiast. He did this when they played in week two. He's done it in every series since. I mean, might actually be able to get this onto the bottom side. He's been practicing. Can he get the... There you go! Oh, oh that's half-breaking! Okay. Not quite enough range there. Bit of a miscalculation. Hillisang now caught out. Equalizer going down. Immediately the ulti comes out, but now razzler has got nothing left. He flashes! Gets away from the ultimate. Crucially, Karzi a bit over eager on pulling the trigger. Photon on the way in. Unstoppable force there. Fnatic playing on the edge. Flash out. They knew he had it. They wanted to bait it out. Didn't want to trade it for Humanoid's Flash, but they had to. VTO now dashing forward. Charms a minion. It's a disaster. Humanoid instantly tries to turn. Gives his life to create space, but Noah's not even auto-attacking. Jun's getting more damage out right now. Lethality Kalista is doing nothing in this fight, and Karzi is unstoppable. Jun gets a bit more space. Celestial Opposition, the slow, keeping him alive, and these fights are just not working for Fnatic. You just don't have enough damage on Humanoid at the moment. He's 0-5. Razor went to his... Oh, he has to hop out. And then Photon, as he comes in, he's just able to buy enough space. We're back in, and he's gone. Killing. Looking to 1v1, the enemy AD carry. Yeah, that's support rumble! <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he'll get killed, but worth that's pretty gross. Oscar worth. <laughs> trying to do something. Yeah. There's Hillisang creating space for his team, and there's Hillisang creating space for Hillisang. <laughs> you know, it's very hard for them to walk in, very hard for them to contest, even when they are able to land that arrow. Fnatic responding by trying to take control of topside. Which is a terrible time, but Video does have TP, and there's a warden Falls behind over the Fnatic. wall, and there's so many people on the other side. Another surprise party for Photon, but the Hillisang ultimate is clean. The bear goes in, he goes up, and Video instantly comes over the wall. Noah again just has to run. He and Jun trying to find a way out desperately. One more dash forward, one more to follow. Flash from Jun, VTO gonna follow. Daglas on the hunt. Blood in the eyes of Vitality. A double kill for Karzi as he plays cleanup. No, we're retreating back to the base, but that's gonna be a Baron for Vitality. That's gonna be an easy pickup for Vitality. It felt a bit like desperation from Fnatic. They try to get the pick onto Photon because he's underneath the terror. Despite being so far behind is pretty decent. The follow-up just isn't there. There's no room for Noah and Jun to really play these fights because every single member on the side of Vitality can either get on top of them or does more damage than they do. Yeah, and the whole idea of Fnatic's comp is to be ahead to burst people out. You look for picks with Jun, with Razor, try and set it all up. Also, I'm sorry, sorry one sec, just, just real oh, quick. Sorry, just, yeah. I didn't notice that. I'm sure some people did and they wanted to hear us talk about it. That, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Sorry, Rob. No, you're all good. I I don't know if I can continue because there's an arrow. It's gone wide. Nice. Razork won't go wide though. He's got a point to click. Razork is back up. He wants to keep going. They're full committing on the fight. Equalizer on a 2 is decent. They want to burn through cards as quick as they can. They're going to find that kill. 1k shut down to Humanoid. Pull back from Noah is good, but he cannot keep himself standing. No, Daglas can't quite get in range. He doesn't have vision in the brush. Crucially, Noah's still up. Fnatic desperate to try to turn this back. The retreat now from all of the carries. BTO waiting over the wall. Humanoid goes in, he goes golden. Noah doesn't do any damage! He doesn't have the sustained damage, and it's Oscar! It's Cassante one more time. Can he do it? The pushback to dodge away. The pushback to buy an extra second, but an extra second is all he had. The fancy footwork, not enough. Photon gets the final kill in the ace. Fnatic are trying everything they can to stay in this game, find a moment to get a pick, but... Not hitting these tankier members, but the problem is... <laughs> you never get past them. You're never gonna have an angle to throw a Pierce out onto Vitio, onto Karzi. And else you catch them out of position, which is at this point a hard thing to do. Vitio, though, they caught him. They want to take that book off his hands! Send him right back, make him return at Barnes and Nobles, baby. That's a few stacks taken out, but Photon does a lot of work. It's not the laning phase anymore. That rocks a full on boulder, and now all of Fnatic are sent packing. Jun, yeah, he's going to get taken down. It's a slaughter. They got what they wanted. They made VTO feel a little bit worse about buying the book, but that's about it. And because of all the oh, assists, no, he, racks he's up, got 19. <laughs> he racked up so no. many assists after death. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we don't get any more of that. <laughs> but, uh... Maybe not. But yet another siege. Equalizer placed, zoning Fnatic away. Tier 2 will fall. Big Purple Worm a minute away, and obviously the soul has been picked up by Vitality. Yeah, I think bottom it's... side, not something we see as much from their bottom lane overall. Zeri was banned away. Flash forward, Electro Harpoon, a little bit of an extra slow. Immediate pullback from the Fates call. 
Jones okay for now as Photon remains uncontested in the bottom lane. We'll knock down that tier two and set up for Baron here on the side of Vitality. Photon now on the way in. Wants to go over the wall, does not give a damn about Oscar in. He sees two immobile carries, he goes. Vault Breaker buys a bit more space. Alti in, gonna connect onto the jungle. Equalizer again, pushing them back. Hillisang, the sole frontliner to run in. Ghost Golden has the Seekers, but the pushback is there. Oscar now into the backside of the fight. He's taking out Karzi, but VTO just continues to step up. It doesn't matter. Oscar and Razor are still standing, but the rest of Vitality can finally turn back. The shutdowns are there, but it's just not enough. It could have been a Penta, I'm just Hilly? saying for video. <laughs> Look, the game's over, it doesn't matter. But uh, they will just push in, they're gonna crack open the base. And now, having that wave alive, Vitality will continue to shove on through. Sometimes you're overheated, sometimes the scrap shield doesn't come off cooldown. But you have to hold the wave. Can't let it push out, so Vitality. Can they just end it here? I don't think Hillisang's death is the biggest factor in the push, although he is certainly strong at this stage of the game. So it will just be two inhibitors. And that's right, folks. We go again. We go Baron. <laughs> Board, get out of here. De evacuate the danger zone, but Humanoid, maybe he wants to get into the thick of things here. All right, all I'm saying think he's been is, spotted. we'll know right now if it's League of Legends or anime, because if all odds are stacked against him and they win, this is absolutely an anime moment. Nice start from Razor. Humanoid behind. Hillisang trying to get a bit more space. In goes Humanoid, two. Hit down, but the counter engages there, and Noah's completely isolated. VGO just 2v1 and casually off on the side. It's too big of a lead for Vitality. Noah just wants one kill, but VTO, he had the stopwatch, he had the hourglass, he does not go down, 25 stacks in the book, and Vitality moving on to take game one. It is only season one though, Fnatic will get another crack at Vitality, as they will take game number one, but we'll have to see how Fnatic bounce back coming into game number two. An excellent question, a couple final hits here, back to the drawing board potentially for Fnatic, we'll see in a moment, as we get closer to game two. <laughs> <laughs> they just left. I think Vitality should be happy with this draft. I think they really, it was really good to take the Rakan away on four. I think that really gave them the edge they needed in draft. I think this Blitzcrank is going to be very hit or miss. Like, he, Junk right. And I was about to say, I really like the pathing from Razor because he should have been down here, but now he's not. Uh -oh. And Daglas. Joan in trouble. Noah coming in, though. Flashing out for now. Daglas getting knocked up. Daglas taking a decent amount of damage. The hook back is big. This is why you have to be careful on diving the Blitz. It's first blood to Jun. The hero hook. A bit of a fumble there from the side of Vitality, punished for that. At least when it comes to the experience, means that this is kind of where Fnatic like to play and like to put their advantages and then lean it into this bottom side. Jun, power fist to kick the dive off. Immediate follow up now. Jun zooming out to safety, getting a little bit lower, just barely able to get out of tower range. Vitality not going to have the same fortunate circumstances to get the kill back. Fnatic just doing it better on those bot lane dives. Nicely done by Fnatic, and again, this stems from all those early summoner spells being burnt in the 2v2, in that 3v2, and Razork punishing well. And Razork just cleared the entire time that Daglas was trying to go for all these plays, so he has an advantage that he's now putting and investing into this bottom side of the map, and this has kind of been the bread and butter for Fnatic. Vitality fall flat as soon as they show up. And excellent to have those leads now. Shifting the gold back in favor of Noah on top of the early cold that he's picking up, getting him that much closer to a first item completion. Razork now going to trade Grubs for the Dragon, much to be expected. Photon still ahead in terms of the 1v1 laning matchup on the top side. But overall, back off to a much better start, and Jun now looking to make the difference. Oh, VTO does boy. see him, hoping to get in range. The Rocket Fist is there, the instantaneous follow-up! And every bush got a Blitzcrank in it, baby. If you can't see him, he's always going to be there. Jun. Still stepping forward, another rocket grab coming through. Humanoid, they're ready for the chase down here. Vitality need to start retreating. Ferocious Maul already marking up one target, though. Daglas is going to be able to get a lot of health back. The initial stun going forward. They're turning back onto Hillisang, flashing back behind Daglas. They want to keep the play going. The hook back onto Hillisang, but he battle dances out to safety. The extra shield now coming in from the Guardian just in time to keep him standing, but cards are getting lower and lower. No, with level six, cards are only level five. He just wants a couple extra creeps. Oh! And, fly, and down goes Karzi Noah, showing up in game. Vitality, no doubt. And overall, Fnatic, again, in a much better position. 1.5k gold lead, yes, but they also are in a position where they have to take maybe some over-aggressive fights or risk anything, as Noah is going to get locked up here. Charm as well, cleanse out, but the ulti still hitting him for a brief moment. They turn the tower off, the feathers are going to fly, the flag back on Hilly! Noah's clean with it, baby! That's a killing spree, a thumbs up, he's going to die. But he's going to die happy knowing he got the outplay. He got the one for one. 
and has bought a ton of space on both mid tower and a potential dive on top tower. The Fnatic were setting up just off the back of this photon. You need to be so careful here. Razor going to try and cut the wave. Has the Blitz crank in the area as well. Can't step too far forward. Now we'll see Jun on the way forward. Knock back on the thundering blow. Flash to safety. Sidestep is it there? Hitbox a little too meaty on those fists. Jun lands the hook. Razor takes him down. So you end up with a kill apiece, but Fnatic are getting more off the back of this, which is still nice, just with that delay, so you don't get the TP back in immediately. You can see in the meantime, though, just the pickup of the early Merc Treads and a small gold advantage for Humanoid has given him so much control in that mid lane matchup. Now it's the old 1v1 is... Oscar's just going to heal that all back up. So I'm going to tell you right now, this is why we are uh, big fans of Rek'Sai top in the other. about to come off cooldown. Looks like a few more seconds till it will be available. And right now, ooh, Pilly. Razor finding some initial damage. But this is the scary part. The follow-up from Jun. The hook hits Daglas. The stare is going to be there from Razor. No waiting over the wall. Cards immediately going to ult. Silence for a brief moment. Razor is already dead. He's just not tanky this early in the game. And Cardi wants a little bit more damage down. Sky Splitter coming down, not going to connect on either target. Noah just focusing on clearing the wave. Weaver's wall in. VTO wants to get a little something. Jun with a nice pullback. Feathers again going to fly. Pullback is there again. Finding Root onto two, but Jun is still standing. They've gotten Noah. They've gotten what they came for. Noah, uh, excuse me. Jun is going to live for another second, but Vitality taking over in the bot lane. Karzi tanks up the tower at the back end of that right as Hilly gets hooked in. So Hilly doesn't end up tanking the turret and they don't get the turnaround. So nicely done by Karzi to step into range. A nice objective. Job. And again, Humanoid 2 0, item fully completed. Is a threat, but Daglas going in and the full commit. They don't hesitate at all. The damage, though, it's not the Lethality Forest. Humanoid are now isolated in the fight. Jun now needs to run. This is the disadvantage of the Blitzcrank. Once you're caught out, you got no tools to escape. And Hillisang wants to keep the ball rolling. Wave coming in on top side. We'll meet in the middle. They're going to need a bit more time. But Razork knows that he's stronger for now. Grand exit coming out from Hillisang. Doesn't need to enter the fight. But Razor needs to be the one to back away here, likely just to be the top lane tier one for Vitality. The stun end up coming through from Daglas immediately on the counter strike, so Razor gets a nice end of the trade, but still nets Vitality the terror on that top end of the map. You see Noah hovering around mid lane. I'm not sure if he wants to make a play into video or is trying to wait for Jun to get in position, but it will be the Rift Herald starter for Vitality. And I don't really think Fnatic should fight this when a lot of their ultimates are down. Humanoid's here and he does good damage. Just jumps straight onto Karzi. Knock up interrupted. It's now just a 1v1. Is here trying to do as much damage as he can, but here comes Daglas. No longer. Humanoid goes gold and tries to get out, but there's a wall there waiting for him. That is not an exit. Razork, though, wants to kill Vitio on the backside. He's already gotten two. Needs to keep this train rolling. But Noah's now coming in. He's done all that he needs to the carries falling left and right on the side of vitality vto lays down as much damage as he can but he's just a talia he's not tough he doesn't have enough in the tank oscar keeping this fight going dagos wants to turn it noah have you overstep the immediate cleanse out but that's one beefy bear baby oh he's too strong and now they'll back away nothing left in the rex side not exactly Stoppable. you were not getting past him and again, this is the priority and the reason why I'm sure this champion is popular in scrims. That is a scrim bola bear right there. That does oh not my usually God. happen in pro play. And there's already a fight happening on the bottom side. VTO silence. Push back is big. Photon coming to the backside. Acceleration gate to the skies into the thundering blow. I'm not even sure who's winning right now. Too much is happening too fast. John running. And it looks like it's Vitality because nowhere's nowhere near the fight. No one not there. Vitality, man, advantage. They turn right to the Drake. What the hell just happened? We can't have a replay and everyone's scrapping immediately. The one who can start to shift this game, the poke, the all-in potential, something that has to be respected. As the hook does land onto Hillisang, Jun again finding the angle, Hilly now dashing out. Grand entrance gonna keep him safe as Karzi starts to poke. Alti gonna oh. connect on the Razor jungler down. And already the rest of the play is coming in for Fnatic, but it might be too late. VTO going in, looking for the 1v1 off to the side with Humanoid, but here comes Daglas. It's a big old bear finding his way into the back line. Down goes the Emperor. Oscar gets one back. Noah keeping the fight alive as he finds the shutdown on Photon. It's a fight on two fronts, both sides finding advantage. Karzi abandoned in lieu of trying to get Humanoid and both end up falling, but what started off as a decent fight. For, or for Vitality with that kill onto Razork. Ends up being turned around by the Emperor's Divide from Humanoid. That was powerful. But Daglas wants to shut this tower down. Steps up. Seismic shove is there. A clean pick. And Vitality just do not stop. 
not start off favorable to Fnatic. It looks good with the initial hook, but because they cannot finish the job, because Hillisang walks away, it turns against them so quickly. Jun still walking up. Clean sidestep on the ulti. Ulti forward. The flash. The pushback. Scooped in for a clean combo. Hilly can get out, but there's nowhere for Karzy to go. The knock up. The follow up. Oh Fnatic can God. set their sights on the bear, and it's so damn clean. Jun, that was nasty. Managing to sidestep everything. The ultimate to clear the wave. The knock up flash out of Karzy. There's nothing the man can do. And now Vitality, they have to do something. Because the Baron's about to go down. Tactus has the ult to get in the pit. The hook, the stun, the CC is there. But Photon and VTO are strong. Fnatic need to finish the objective, but it's healing. Oscar trying to heal back in return. VTO going to be in trouble. Goes golden right as the feathers get pulled back for now. He's a bit over eager. Photon queues forward, but he can go and not quite get the damage. Finally finding a shutdown. Four members up with purple. Where's How much the more can blast? they get? They Where's should the just blast? kill him. The ulti coming in. Knockback is good, but Oscar says not. Today, Fnatic take the objective. That was so close. That acceleration. Vitality, but now they're the ones who try to kick things off. Bit of CC onto Jun, punishing the Blitzcrank for overstending. Hillisang highwaying through the rest of his teammates trying to get it done, but Humanoid now steps up. Oscar, unkillable. Razork retreating. They're so damn strong, but here comes VTO, the Weaver's Wall, but he's going to walk right into the waiting tower of Humanoid. Needs to kill the Azir, but Humanoid says, nah, baby. I got soldiers to protect me, and Razork's one of them. Karzy, though, remains unperturbed. He does not care. Noah, again. In the final moments of the fight, walking up to face down Karzy, making sure that his mid laner can stand strong. So many blinking health bars. Arrow will not connect. And a meaningful damage, and the tower is gonna fall, but the TP from behind, that was round one, baby. Ring the bell, round two starting. Humor and Noah versus VTO and Dagos, 2v2. Third of volume won't initially connect. CC not gonna connect either. Sky Splitter, he's been outscaled. The Volo Bear early game is over. No one. It's a bit easier for Photon to just clear these wave and threaten with the poke, but the man advantage ensures that they do grab another tier two, extend their goal lead a little bit further forward. Two to two, the Drake score. But now Hillisang coming in on the side will be spotted by the control ward, crucially. Jun, where does the hook go? Daglas continuing to chase. I was going to move mid. So in the difference, it can still break both ways. One team fight could make all the difference, but the fact that you've got no as big as he is. Oh, Razak getting caught. Razork getting caught up. Counter-Strike gonna fade away in a moment, but he manages to stun two. Razork very strong, but three members standing on top of him likely gonna be in the end of him. Jun finding the hook, finding one back. Razork still living, Counter-Strike back up. Pick denied. Karzy charging the arrow, but no. He's got a couple of extra free hits here. The red buff away to deny that from the side of Vitality, slowly looking to choke them out of this game. Jun anticipating a potential flank in the brush, does just throw a blind hook. Daglas on the flank, finally drops control ward. Weaver's wall is there. Razor gonna be in trouble. VTO over his own wall, though. Maybe not ideal, because the flip back doesn't connect. He's immediately forced to pull it back. Noah just one shot Hillisang. Lover's duo, my ass. That's a clean kill from Noah. Noah swipes Hilly off the map, and Fnatic, they still feel confident in front of this terror. Photon wants to try and dissuade them, though. Worse not screwing away, it's still a 3v4. And Fnatic don't want to let up. Taking the time, VTO over eager. Gonna get punished as the hook from Jun is clean. Karzy can't really step up here. Video will fall. That's the shutdown. Oscar wants a little bit more, but he may give his life for trying to step up. Photon down two. Now it's Karzy versus three on the dive. The pull is there. Jun cannot miss in this game. The bot lane from Fnatic is having an absolute stormer. And See if Fnatic at least go over the wall. VTO now stepping up. Threaded volley to spot out Oscar. Hook gonna connect onto VTO. It's big. The soldiers follow, but he's still standing. Jun taken out, but the objective already down. Fnatic got what they came for. They'll give one for the big purple worm. There's nowhere to CP to or try and get involved. So Vitality for the moment just trying to shove in midway. See if they can push this right the way in. Dragon is in 30 seconds, so... ...from BTO. Makes a lot of sense, but... The game is not getting easier for Vitality, as... They're still gonna fish for picks, they're still gonna look for something. You can see in the corner of the mini-map, Hillisang looking for those angles. Doesn't want to hit Razor, does want to lock up Humanoid. Pushback is good, but Hillisang is safe for now. Seismic shove, connecting onto Humanoid, but the follow-up damage is not there. They are overestimating how powerful they are, and Noah is relentless. Feathers fly to die in an instant, and now Karzy's sent running. VTO trying to make the hero play, but there's not enough damage. Fnatic find the kill. Noah fighting, desperate for the 1v1. Oscar there for the alley-oop to send Karzy right back to the fountain. Fnatic coming alive in game two on the backs of their bottom lane. Fnatic needed to find that success, needed to find something to push themselves forward in this series, and they'll find it in game number two. And a reminder that last game was 53 to pick fights, and for the first time in the series, Team Vitality 
really lacking, I think, in a lot of circumstances in the There's early. There's no way that they'll... Damn it. <laughs> Need to be quicker. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Just want the fights. You know? oh. That's what I live for. Seems VTO does too, but he has to be a little bit careful here. Good bit of damage. Humanoid oh, the auto, the auto, the auto! First blood! He saw it coming, he walks up anyway! Does Look, it... at least we don't get any lane swaps, you know? <laughs> Makes it so much easier to keep track of. Uh, but, video, they have to swap out of this one. Instant flash charm, the knockup is there, the shockwave is good! But the kill comes through for Fnatic. Clean punish, Humanoid holding onto that flash. Giving up his life, but manages to get the trade back. Three, One, two. Yeah, because while it does oh, sorry, even up, I got the void grubs, my bad. Yeah, while it does even up the, the the mid lane kills overall, gives a lot of free time on the bot side for Karzi and Hillisang as the 1v1's top lane just continue to come through. Photon still has access to alt, as does Oscar, but Humanoid on the way. Azork too. Photon immediately gonna ult for a little bit of extra movement speed. Needs to sidestep. Clean Q back to interrupt the Vault Breaker from Photon, forcing the ult out as well. They're gonna grab the kill, but it's a solid play to kick things off. Oscar walking away, keeping that passive up too. Fnatic, another excellent dive. And that was really cleanly executed. Even if Oscarinen had taken an extra terror shot, had the Resurrects, it would have been completely fine. And I think that's where, again, it comes back to Fnatic are the ones with the competition they have that can make these plays. And as soon as they know that Dag... Hello, right there, though. There's not really anyone they can isolate other than Daglas. Snare's not going to connect. Daglas tries to interrupt, but crucially, Razor gets one. Hillisang now leaping in. The jungler just going to get taken out. Doesn't even get a chance to ultimate. Hillisang now trying to walk back to the rest of his team. Charm connecting. Ulti from Mars going to lock up two. VTO hit on the back side as Fnatic try desperately to disengage. Curse of the Black Mist. A bit of extra protection. Hillisang forced to flash to safety. But crucially, that one grub is denied. It denies the five grub buff. It pushes Vitality out of the area. And it's two to two in the overall kills. It's all not going to amount to much, but it does get them control of the Dragon Pit. Dag was in the air. To fight this is Vitality, though. Humanoid has no ult now, which is pretty big for this upcoming fight if you want to, but they are very split. And Fnatic want to turn their attention to Video to find the pick beforehand. Vito needs to walk up, but the flash forward into the ultimate. John immediately going to follow with the entrance. Noah's got the damage, and that's going to be the kill. Shockwave fizzles because the Orianna dies mid animation. 1v1 on the top side. Photon doing a lot of work here. Oscar starting to fall behind the Aatrox online. Let's bouncing out to safety, getting the extra blobs will be okay. But the dragon's been started by Fnatic Vitality now walking up. 3v3, Humanoid not in the immediate area, will finally start to walk over Vitality. This is kind of crazy to be testing this. Even without ulti, Humanoid is still a powerhouse. Decent damage onto Hillisang. Daglas buying as much base as they can, but Karzi slowly but surely started to avoid these health bars. That's a beefy catfish, but the engage is there. Hillisang gets a bit more space. TP now coming in. Karzi into the back line. It's a melee range setter, and it's working. Chun now on the retreat. Blast cone out. Karzi wants to finish the kill. He wants one more, but Humanoid is here to punish. That's one back for the Ari. A bit extra healing. Razork still stepping up. Needs to be a bit careful. Daglas, the body block from VTO is good to stop Razork from going to the back line. The shockwave is there. It didn't get used in the previous fight. The dash up just in time for Humanoid to get out, but Jun lingers a bit too long. He wants Wants one back, and it's a double for VTO. They bought just enough time to get the reason. Looking. Now I'm gonna be a little bit in trouble here. It's relatively tanky, but it's three members of Fnatic. Four members of Fnatic, but Noah's going to turn his sights back on the mid lane. TP oh, out, no waits way. for the charm. There's no way that works. What? <laughs> um, well, you got to try sometimes. Respectable effort. <laughs> anyway, just never gonna it was not going to complete. Uh, Photon, though, obviously farming damage, as you can see from the Santan there, total damage. He is playing against his axe. Those numbers are a bit fake for VTO. Karzi doing a bit of work here. Oscar coming in, though. VTO now the one who's been caught out, making him kiss. The Shockwave coming through as well. The Fnatic obliterate that fight. They don't have their support. Uh, never mind, that's their support. It's Karzi. He hasn't been farming, and now he's dead. Haley getting caught and then not up the... <laughs> Here we see the Fnatic coaching. No, sorry, that's just Cadrill. Hi, Cadrill. <laughs> I can see him with his hand on his face as he reacts to himself reacting to the game. Just that moment of embarrassment. What's up, oh, Mark? Oh, <laughs> How's it going, bud? <laughs> Sandin Deer, first turret. Uh, you know, 3K lead now at this point for Fnatic. I think Vitality, every time they do something that feels like it brings them back to the game, they get a little over eager to make these plays. And while there are a lot of things about their composition that favors them as they go later into the game, they still have to give some respect over to the playmaking that... Fnatic feel significantly more confident moving up here. Definitely do. Karzi, one stack away from 80. Nice break point to hit, but... Noah already completing the Blade of the Rune King. 
Alti in on to Photon. It's a bit of a delayed exchange. Shield coming in from the center. TP there as well. Nice play to kick things off from Photon. Forcing the flash out from Razork. Even when dashes over the wall. Photon has to be careful about stepping too far up. Daglas on the way. Razork now retreating back to enemy territory, just trying to draw Vitality's attention. He knows the play is fizzled. Most he's going to have to give is his life. Nice turn back over on the cards. He good damage. And here comes Oscar. It's a genius play in the end. He buys time for the rest of his team to show up. And Razork still alive. Stopwatch is there. But Oscar Renan bouncing through the back line effortlessly. Vitality now on the retreat. Fnatic pushing forward with four, but one more time. The interrupt on the Arctic Assault. Daglas going to find the angle with the charm over the wall. And the VTO is big. Double kill for Noah Fnatic. And the extended exchange coming out on top once again. And the initial play looks like it's gone completely astray for Fnatic. The terror dive. The ultimate devour. But he's just buying a couple extra seconds now. Going to journey out to safety, trying to spit Karzi out. That shield's going to start to fade away. Curse of the Black Mist, trying to stay healthy. Flashback from Karzi is good. To deny the initial pick, but now it's Hillisang who's in trouble. Harold on the top side, already going to grab the tower. Tom Kench likely to fall. Shield now finally coming through on the thick skin, but the charm connects. And Noah now on a killing spree. One more charge into the top lane as Photon desperately tries to get a little bit something extra back. We're a few seconds away from Baron. And Attic, they take down Photon, likely to just turn their sights on the objective, but they got some relatively low on cooldowns as Karzi is in enemy territory right now. Vitality. I think overstaying here. They're trying to take the jungle out to make sure that nothing could happen. And Razork's still alive again for a second. The healing coming through Sundered Sky. Looking like a nice and balanced item in that moment. Vitality again. They can't help it. They want to kill Razork so bad, but they're all dying for their attempts. The shockwave is good from VTO, but the follow-up is not enough. Hilla sang out. Fnatic obliterating Vitality and back. Why are they so aggressive? And Noah's taking a temper out of Vitality. This yeah. guy has had a great series. The Zaya game last time, most damage in that last fight. Stepping up again. Shockwave good to start things off. Jun, though, Humanoid off to the side as well. Again, another fight in the blink of an eye. They're gone. They disappear. Vitality sent running. Fnatic so clean when they pull the trigger, when they have the tools to start a fight. They're going to start it. Photon tries to get something back. The Aatrox is good. It brings a bit of hope for Vitality, but not enough to take the fight. Humanoid plays cleanup. It's a double for the Ari. The triple coming in for Noah. And an absolute slaughter. And uh, you could just get both of these outer terrors now. Noah going to finish off the mid lane. There's going to be another minion wave. Congo wave lining its way in in a moment. And they move their attention to bot side as well. As Oscar wants to try and push that one in. Drangle of attack. Instead, it just gives Fnatic two more terrors on the top side of the map. And now Vitality trying to see if they can make a, some sort of play in here, but Oscar in, he gets bot side terror as well. He can still TP in. And Fnatic, advantage. Blood in the water. Razork unstoppable. John immediately follows up. Hillisang denies the play. Karzi, does he have enough damage to bring this fight back? Good ulti across the team. Flash away from the Zac, but Humanoids on the chase. Determined. The knockup from Hillisang buys a bit more space, but the base is falling apart. Razork doesn't even care about the fight, and that's it. They're done. Ring the bell, throw in the towel. This game is over, Fnatic with absolute confidence from beginning to end. Move on to match point. It's going to take a moment longer, but Vitality are sent back to the drawing board for game four. There is no mercy from Fnatic. You cannot give them that much control in the early game, and Vitality just found out why. They're renekton the melee ver uh, version of your mid lane as well will be set up for Sichuani, so the three-man counter for Vitality in this top side. Up for it there. Gets all the sums from Hilly. And Karate can't really trade aggressively because the bailout's still going to be there. So even if he tries to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Noah, Noah will just win out with the extended health bar that he ends up from the bailout. Jun now walking forward again. Does he look for the for the flash? It's just a full 2v2. Nice sidestep. Again, the engage the flash away. The bailout there. Do they take their time? Noah, he's going to heal back up. They're winning. He needs to die to get it. Oh my god. What a 2v2. Vitality get both. Karzi flashing into the bush to deny any subsequent auto attacks means that you cannot get them. Agnes, if you beeline over towards the dragon, this could be a great moment for Vitality to pick up some of these early wins for themselves. VT has to be careful. Ball breaker over the wall. Flash to connect. Immediate ultimate and down goes Vital. Meanwhile, on the top lane, Photon going all in. That's the passive gone. Is he going to be able to take out the blobs in time? He should be able to. Cold the Meek right around the corner, taking a tower shot. Finishing off Oscar. Kills in top and mid. Plates for Photon as well, but nice play from Razork to kill Video. Video wasn't ready. 
This is still something that Vitality can use. We already kind of talked about Dragon stacking for a Fnatic is the way to force Vitality into team fights, And you have a stronger team fight comp as Fnatic. Originally, yeah, but just gets caught. And not going to be too much coming from it. Didn't have to burn the flash, so we'll still have a little bit there if they try to play towards it. But yeah, a huge amount of it is just trying desperately for Razor and Humanoid to find a pick. Noah Sang trying to cut down Noah instantly. Finds the kill, the cleanse out. Noah sidestep from Karzi is good. That's a kill already. Hostile take over from Johnny uses the bailout on himself. The handshake gets him a bit more space, but Daglas is on the chase. The stun coming through. Karzi with the double. Hillisang pulls the trigger on the engage, and Daglas now chasing to follow. Razork forced to run. They don't have the kill pressure, but they'll get the camp. They'll get the kills. They'll get the plates on the bottom side. Razork's still stepping up, though, because there's a TP coming in from behind. Oscar on the way in, only half HP, but Razork just knows that he's stronger. Takes out Hillisang. Oscar, where's the elastic slingshot going to go? Ball breaker to chase. TP now coming in from Photon as well. It's a hot mess. The Azir can start to roam down. This could be disaster for Vitality, but it's a double TP. Oscar in the midst of everybody in the Dominus. They want to get something back. Of course, getting lower and lower. That's the shutdown. Two for Oscar. The TP is clutched. The bailout is there, but they can't quite get the kill in time. No one drops. VTO, sure, it can flip back to safety. Humanoid on the push, though. His entire team behind him. Fnatic rally in the extended fight and look to find one more as Humanoid takes down VTO. Fnatic chopped down by Vitality as they think they can find the play. Hill is saying spots a human. Actually, just going to be able to walk away. So Too much damage on the way out, but the time Photon arrives, it's just not worth it. But Hilly, he snuck his way in. A humanoid doesn't realize this. Gold dead even, but maybe just for a brief moment. Hillisang taking his time, waiting for the dash back. Daglas there with the fall. They don't have the damage, but they have more than enough CC. Karzi desperately stepping forward, but Noah's now in the picture. Humanoid with a pushback to get two under the tower. Yes, Karzi gets the shutdown, but now Daglas and the rest of Vitality need to get the hell out. Karzi, nice sidestep to move through. Ball breaker there. Hillisang ready to interrupt if need be, trying his best to protect the AD carry. The feathers do not quite connect, but the ulti from Noah does. Dragon, or at least getting something on the opposite side of the map for the Dragon, but the video back at base. Oscar Innes making his way down, just slingshot himself up the back of the barn pit. So Vitality, they are about to be collapsed on, and they have nowhere to run. Oscar in position, Karzi has ulti, he has summoner spells, it's okay, but Vitality need to learn from their mistakes in the previous game. Photon on the flank, gets pushed in though. Handshake is there, perfect change to see. The only target that Vitality can hit is Oscar, and he's one beefy Zach, but they're gonna try to shred through. I think he still has passive as well as the bailout, Vitality. They've already lost the exchange, but they want to keep fighting. Daglas now going to be in trouble. Hillisang going to try to turn this. Karzi, can he do the necessary damage to tear through? Carry stepping up. Karzi doing a lot of work. Cleanse, flash out the finish shot. Karzi playing like a psycho. He doesn't have the feathers in position. It's too much. Fnatic take the exchange. They get the Drake. They get some kills. They're happy with that one. Video is essentially useless in these fights without his ultimate, so he still has to turn tail and run. I'm He's just not in a position to pull them back through the enemy carries. VTO now in trouble. Tries to get tricky with it, but I just don't think there's a reliable way for you to get out. Can dash over the wall if he needs to, but Noah's here as well. VTO likely to fall. Luckily has the Shuriken flip, but Oscar not done yet. Q forward, not quite going to hit. Like a minion might have interrupted there, but Fnatic punishing Vitality beautifully. Have the push on the top side, as well as the Herald to back it up. Yes, Photon is pushing bot lane, but Vitality had to be careful. Decisions aren't being made by Vitality. Daglas was on Raptors. He could have moved Karzi and Hilly across, but they're a little bit late. And now... Fnatic get full control and Hilly's cost. Hillisang pull back. Handshakes have been good from Jun. And Oscar just continues to be a thorn in the side for Vitality. It's so hard for them to play in these side lanes. VTO just doesn't do anything to this Zac. You, you just have a Lich Bane. It's a Zac with one and a half items. His health pool is just too big. Photon wants to make a play in bottom side, but just all his dashes for nothing. All Fnatic moving. Karzi. Karzi the one now in trouble. TP bot lane, they see their window of opportunity. They know that Karzi doesn't have cleanse because of the previous play, but he does have the feathers. Jun now in trouble, uses the bail on himself, tries to get an extra moment. Razork now stepping in, but Noah now finally coming in, ready to play clean up. Oscar and trying to buy his 80 carry space, and he'll buy more than enough because Photon can do nothing. Noah just free hitting, doing whatever the hell he pleases in this exchange. So much work done by the Fnatic front lines, but it is Noah who is reaping the rewards. A triple kill for Humanoid in the fight. Hillisang dives in front of Karzi to tank the handshake idea that this is going down. If Ori quick blades, this is very possible. It's going to take a decent amount of time, but Humor doesn't even suspect it. Daglas is showing on the wave, so they're like, there's no way that they are trying to do this. The question mark pings are coming out, yeah. though. Hilly's so low. But I think they've realized too late. VTO's here now to tank. Razork isn't coming. He's only now leaving his red buff. Oh, <laughs> Vitality! Away this is with so it. smart! They lose a the tower. They get the Baron. It won't mean much for them, but it stops Fnatic from getting any greater advantages. 
especially if they want to try and set up for the next dragon as well. Now you've got a barren up minion way that you can play off here as Vitality, and they're going to ju do just that. Uh, Azir trying to respond in the mid lane for Humanoid on towards the tier two, but Karzi will easily clear that out. And you can okay, a little over two. His Vitality gets some standing gold in the form of the towers as well as the buff. Again, with Dragon gone, it'd be hard for them to do too much more with this. Vitality need a miracle. They need some sort of pick. They need some sort of misstep from Fnatic to claw back this game. And they've been here before where it's kind of all eyes on Karzi. Can you be the player to make the difference? But Fnatic have so many tools to take him out. And he's walking forward in the mid lane. They force the cleanse out early. Karzi needs to be the hero, but he just gets deleted. I don't know if you want to call it cash or curse or just honestly. Bad positioning on the midway, but that's a disaster. That's the decisiveness I want to see from Fnatic, though, immediately claps onto Karzi. And when people were doubting Fnatic coming into this, even themselves saying that they didn't feel like they were playing at their highest level, Fnatic actually tank up your turret, and Karzi, you can see him trying to play on the wave there. Take that out. But channel. Karzi locked up. The ulti hits. The CC is flawless for a brief moment. Karzi lives. Finally, the feathers are forced to fly, but it looks like he might die once again. He's untouched on the back line for a moment, but no! Oscar walks in. He slaps them together. It's a clutch performance from the man in the top lane. It's a shutdown for VTO, but I just don't think it's going to matter. He wants to E2 back in, Photon. but the mark is already fading. The bailout is already there. Photon. Photon desperate to get it back. He finds the shutdown. How much more can the Renekton get? Surely nothing else. VTO still standing. They know they can't afford to lose this fight. Photon healing up. Big initial impact. Dashing forward onto Jun. Oscar can't find the set setting target. It's a miracle. Photon trying to keep Just this stun. game in his Just favor. He needs to get the stun. So VTO can go back in. He goes golden. VTO knows this is his time. Step up. The Shuriken flip's gone. One more. Are you kidding me, Photon? It was supposed to be Karzi, but when everything else falls apart, it is Photon in the top lane to keep Vitality's hopes alive. Oscar will get one back. Might just manage to make it out. The CC surely too much. Seismic shove the final stun. Will the Zac finally die? The extra healing. It looks like the answer is no. He just keeps on living. And now no one is here. Are you kidding me? Oscar is playing like a god in this game. The blob is unkillable. Oscar manages to escape with vitality. Still, he's in a position to follow through. They're able to do things, but Douglas now. Azork. Again, the ball breaker hits onto Hillisang. Hillisang ready to back away. Dominus already comes out. Look at Oscar in the back the line, Karzi. ready to dive in. Karzi tries to sidestep immediate cleanse, getting him out of the hostile takeover. Hillisang goes back in. The Akali into the back line, and this time she does damage, baby. Vitio did it once with Misfits. He wants to do it again for Vitality. Akali finally taking over in the fights. It should have been done. It should have been over. Fnatic should have been the one celebrating, but Vitality by some miracle have found the fights they need and they can go for the end. The base is just opening up in front of them. And like any other miracle, you gotta see it to believe it, but here we are in the clutch. Photon is there, enough time finally bought for VTO. Oscar wants to clear the way, but will this be the death of Vitality? Will they get over eager? They need to end, but Jun is Five here. Seconds Five Noah. seconds on Noah. VTO getting lower and lower. They gotta run, they gotta get out. But Razork, his ultimate is up in just a couple of seconds. They're gonna try and chase them back away. There's a, a few TP wars that Humanoid could look Agus. for in behind them. Ulti around the corner from Noah. Jesse now gonna come in. Good call out. This is it, this has Karzy to be the has final no fight. Karzi has no way, Karzy he's no ult. He's got to be in trouble. Photon trying to body ball, trying to stop Humanoid from going in. Instant turn on the stun. Karzi gonna contest it. They're in the choke against the feathers. He has to wait a brief moment. Here comes VTO, the mark up there, but Humanoid is the next second because of the bailout. And now the turn and the finish. Fnatic. Oh, they punish Vitality, but can they end it here? They want to. You can see desperation on both sides. Fnatic, no. They've been gifted back. They had no business to throw the game away. They threw it, and now they want to keep it back in their control. They can't end. Video's going to crash the wave. And also, just the fact that you have 40 second dead time is you'd have to get through two towers. The TP is for Baron. Video take, taken out. Daglas won't be able to get there in time. Fnatic. Just praying off that moment from Vitality. The adrenaline was running. They thought they had their moment in their sights. Wait, 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 no. Super minions, observers don't it's use no one's alive. Get it's gonna be one tower. Wait, wait, seven seconds on Photon. Baron goes down four second recalls. This okay. has to be the cards he play. This has to be him finding those moments. Video eight seconds. He still ha he can TP in. There's plenty of wards. Fnatic trying to clear them out, but they're just not quite gonna Vitality. be enough. They can't kill Oscar, but they can't kill Razor. Take the jungler out of the equation. It's not enough. 
Oh, at the end of the day, the itemization is not keeping him healthy, but he still manages to get the ult out. Now it's Karzy in trouble. He pulls him back. Karzy still throwing down so much damage. Fnatic now moving into the choke. They have to be careful. Photon continuing to step up the dragon, the prize. But again, chaos. Fnatic lose two in the exchange. That's two Baron buffs gone. That's a dragon for Vitality. Pretty, pretty much aware Fnatic of what this man can do. Fnatic think they have the opportunity why they hit this, but they're not aware that they're getting baited in. They'll finally spot Hill saying, but will it be too late? Jun needs to be quick on the reaction. They blocked with the Renata, but he managed to buffer the alt out. The hostile takeover, the pushback is big from Humanoid. Isolated on the side, but the two carries of Fnatic playing together. Uncontested on the other side of the wall for a brief moment, but their front line is falling apart. Raz are going to ulti, but the feathers fly again. Humanoid and Noah, can they do it? And here comes Oscar. VTO, not enough. Fnatic in the clutch. Keep their carry standing. Humanoid drew a line in the sand and said, you will not take this game. You will not get access to our carries. And Douglas is desperately trying to clear the wave state. But it doesn't matter. Fnatic will finish him off with just a couple more pop shots. But without the wave, Fnatic, they can't get it. They can't end the game. Third what was seconds. a beautiful fight. They just Dan cannot get the, the wave. With the happy oh. B, tries to sidestep. Doesn't really matter if he gives the kill over, but takes a bit of time. Killing sides, debating. Every single decision could cost you. But Fnatic just gonna set their sights in the tier two. Look to maybe push for more. You've got recalls coming in. Photon might be the lone member set to push this wave out in the middle lane. But Fnatic can just immediately Wait, go your... for the fight. They can take it, they can go for the three fight. Ulti on the Karzy, Hillisek now trying to disengage. The feathers fly, the flash of the side of Karzy is clean! But Oscar buys so much space, and in goes Razork, and again it is Oscar! The damage from everyone else, but it does not matter because this Zack will not be stopped. Vitality pulling away, but their carry is dead. And that has to be it. But Fnatic don't want to be the ones to get greedy. They don't want to be the ones to throw it away. It's a split call, though. They're still going. Photon doing a lot of work here, doing a lot of good damage. VTO now dashing in. Pushback from Humanoid. He still has the cooldown. Hillisang still standing. They're trying to get in. Photon trying to take Humanoid out. It's the tank. The tank is here. Not enough damage. VTO still alive. Humanoid standing. VTO goes back in. Reset is there. They're still Another going, They're still going. Go again, baby! We go again! But we don't go again! We're going to the base! VTO has anything to say about it! It is chaos! It is insanity! It is blood and bone! And it is a banger! Ladies and gentlemen, it is LEC! What a banger of a series that we have here! As video. Oh, he knows. But as the teammates to back him up as a TPN, the Baron's gone, but the 5v5, all that matters. All these other buffs are relevant. No one even close to an Elder. But everything was used by Karis in that last fight. Not up to Zach, but even then. The Chaos Crucible on Haley is gonna be crucial as well at trying to keep Karis safe from Jun if he ever opens up with that hostile takeover. Of having these buffed up creeps anymore as he started to enter underneath the tower. Douglas supporting Vidya on this top side. They split the fight. Do they win if they fight two isolated fronts? Oscar Renan thinks so. He's kicking that one off, maybe hoping to just get some summoners or some spells out of VTO, but he interrupts the first dash. That's gonna be clutch. VTO pushed away, taken down. Oscar, the timing, absolute perfection to interrupt the perfect execution, but Vitality now. Desperation measures. Hoping to find can the flank. Tank the tower? I don't think they can just tank the tower by themselves. They have a bot lane wave. They're just gonna try and rush for bot lane wave. They wait, they wait as long as possible. They can't let their wave die. Oscar gonna spot them out with the trinket. The interrupt, they need to kill Oscar immediately. The rest of Fnatic descending on them like wolves. Karzy trying to get something back. The recall's there. He needs to get back to Hillisang to reset. Oh god, it's disaster. Surely this is the end. The pick on Vitio will end up costing Best them. The kills. Vitality hoping to get something back. The feather's out, but Noah off to the side. Uncontested, the knock up there. Karzy's got no room to play. And surely this is it. Surely this is the final nail in the coffin, the GA. It's not gonna do anything. Fnatic, it might. Photon, he's still up. They managed to get out. But the push again from Daglas. He's just trying to clear the wave. Bring for one more fight, just one more. But Fnatic have given Vitality enough opportunities. They wanna send them home packing, but VTO is back up again. The death timers are so damn long. Daglas will finally drop. Humanoid has TP for the wave, he's gonna use it to come in. I didn't know if they're gonna use it to keep that single creep alive, but instead Fnatic, they are marching forward. Video, honestly, you have to find some way to get rid of the wave, but how the hell do you do this as an Akali? He has the Zonyas. 17, 11 on Hillisang. 
He goes in, tries to clear it, dashes through, wants to delete it, but Razork, Oscar Ridden, eyes on the prize. It's the most kills in a best of five in LEC history. And it's Fnatic once again taking down Vitality, moving into top three in the LEC.